Hey, what's up guys? I'm Exclusive Lex, and welcome to my review of Old Man's Journey, developed and published by Broken Rolls. Old Man's Journey is a puzzle-driven story about life's precious moments, broken dreams, and change plans. This game is actually available on iOS, Android, Steam, and now on the Nintendo Switch. The gameplay you're going to see here is all from the Nintendo Switch itself. This game is very short. It is new to the Switch, and I think $10 is a pretty good price. Right off the bat, this game is gorgeous. Even on the Nintendo Switch, just seeing the background, the foreground, and the way you can easily move between them is fantastic. The music sets the atmosphere and sets the world that you're going to be in. It's a very short game though. It's not very long. It's about maybe two hours and you can pretty much finish this game in one sitting. But the journey you go through is definitely worth it. You take your character from one point to another by simply clicking on the direction you want him to go. And he goes there. You can interact with the world by clicking on different things to see what happens. And the old man himself sits in different locations to reminisce about different memories he has based on what he's saying. Whether it's seeing two people freshly in love, whether it's seeing a boat, whether it's seeing a child, different memories come to mind when you're playing this game. You're going through the journey as he goes on a walk. The puzzles are pretty simple. They're not difficult at all. There's not much replayability in this game, but the replayability actually comes in showing others what you can do with this game and how it looks and how it sounds. The puzzles come in the form of shaping the world. When you're walking from one place to another, you think, hey, I can't make it up there. I can't get to that part of the world. But you can easily shift the different locations of the world up and down to move it to make that path available for you. For example, the train ride. The train ride is all you making the straight path in order for the train to get from one place to another. But everything in front of you is just you setting the track. There's a couple of choices here and there, but but it's pretty straightforward as far as what path you have to take. Even though the game is short, I'm glad I picked this up on the Switch. It's my first time playing through it, and being able to go ahead and show this to other people just to show an immersion in this world that, with different little subtleties, feels very alive is fantastic to me. Again, $10 is not that bad of a price, but again, if you're looking to spend a little bit less money, it is available on other platforms, and let me tell you, it has many awards on the other platforms as well. If you're looking for a short, relaxing, memory-driven game, I definitely recommend picking this up. This game is definitely worth a pick up in whatever platform you choose, but just the art and sound design of this game makes me look forward to whatever Broken Rules comes up with next. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick review for All Man's Journey on the Nintendo Switch. If you guys like this video, hit that like button. If you want to watch more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. You can go ahead and click on the link down below for the website for All Man's Journey. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Exclusive Lex. Welcome to the exclusive family. We're in for a hell of a ride. Take care, guys.